Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my July wrap up. Um, and before I even get started here, I want to let you know I am way behind on videos and making content. Um, my issue right now is editing. I do not have time um, at the moment to edit and upload videos in a timely manner. So I have a bunch of videos filmed. I just don't have anything <laughs> done. Um, I do keep my vlogs pretty pretty standard because those I can at least get out. Um, they don't take very long to edit so <sighs> we're just gonna try to do the best we can um, with what we've got. So I will be spending the rest of tonight editing my videos. I am free for the rest of the night so I'm going to be doing this video here and then this will be up probably the same day I'm filming it. Right now it's August 1st. So if you're seeing this on August 1st, then you know it's filmed, edited, uploaded, and uh, published all on the same day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into all the books that I read this month. This month has been probably one of my best reading months. I think it is the best reading month I've had so far in 2022. And this month I read a total of 17 books and I'm so happy with that. Um, I didn't think I was going to read that many. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I listened to a lot of these on audio and I am just thrilled that I was able to listen to um, the ones that I did. So I was also able to read some of them physically with my own two eyes without um, audio or um, anything like that. So I think I read a total physically. I read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I read a total of seven books um, physically with my own two eyeballs, no audio um, included. One, I, some of them I just didn't want to pay for the audio, and two, some of them haven't come out yet, so, um, or at least the audiobooks for them. So um, let's just go ahead and get into this uh, wrap-up. Um, so the first book that I ended up starting and finishing both on July 1st was Twisted Love by Anna Huang. I ended up giving this book four stars. This is about Alex and Ava, and they become neighbors. Um, because Ava's brother goes out of town on a like extended long um, work trip uh, and so Alex moves next door to make sure that Ava is safe and secure. Um, it is kind of like forced proximity but it's also like grumpy sunshine, um, enemies to lovers, grovel. There's a bit of groveling in this so overall it wasn't a bad book. I just don't see myself like rereading this book so um I don't know we'll see I might hold on to it for a little bit one of my friends is also a reader so I may end up uh giving these to her um but overall this was a really good book and I highly enjoyed it so that was the book number one uh book number two um was a highly anticipated read for me I've seen it all over TikTok all over Instagram um and people are just telling me to read it nonstop. so that book is The Never King by Nikki St. Crow. The third book, Their Vicious Darling, comes out on September 1st. I cannot wait. I will literally be counting down the days this month to get to this book. So we're at 29 days left until September 1st, right? So we're just uh, chugging along. So if you are not familiar with the series, this is a Peter Pan retelling um, where Peter Pan uh, is a villain but he's also um, trying to protect his home. It is a reverse harem so keep that in mind and uh, it is dark romance. So very good. I really enjoyed this. Um, I started this on June 30th and I finished it on July 2nd. This was one of the books that I did have to read physically because the audiobook didn't come out until later in the month and by that time I had already finished the book. So um, this was very good. I did read this on my Kindle and had to order a physical copy because I loved it that much. All right, next on the uh, wrap up is A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen. Um, this one took me a little bit to get through be, uh, solely because of like 
mean being not in the mood to read at the time um, so it did take me a little bit I started this on June 20th and I finished it on July 4th uh, July 4th was a pretty slow day here so um, I just went ahead and finished this uh, during that time um, this book is also signed I took it to um, I took it to uh, Book Bonanza and so I had her sign it for me. Um, this is a really good book. This is a uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling with the dragon shifters. So uh, that's super fun. Um, I, like I said, really enjoyed that book. Finished it on July 4th. And I can't wait to continue on with the series. But I think we're waiting until September for that to happen. Um, but again, I'm not entirely sure. So don't hold me to it. But anyway, let's continue on with our wrap up. Uh, next, I have Twisted Games by Hannah, Anna Huang, which is book two in the Twisted series. Um, this one I preferred over the first one, Twisted Love. I gave this book four and a half stars. Um, this is about Reese and Princess Bridget, and um, Reese becomes Bridget's bodyguard, and it is a bodyguard princess uh, trope love story. I don't know how you want to go about it. Um, I liked this. I did find the ending a little bit convenient be where the son, the, like something had like you, the, I don't want to spoil it, but I did find it convenient at the end. So, um, I very much liked this one. I can't wait to get to book three. Book three's audiobook did just come out. So I'm very excited for that. Twisted Lies, I believe is that book. Um, so I think we're going to try to get that in August. If not, it'll definitely be in September. So Anyway, next book that I read I do not have physically with me, and that is Barbarian's Prize, which is book six in the Ice Planet Barbarian series by Ruby Dixon. Um, I ended up giving this book four stars. I listened to it on audiobook, and honestly, the audiobooks are a lot better than, like, reading them physically, because when you read them physically, you can, like, like, you're the narrator of the, of the story, right? So when you hear somebody else read the story to you in the manner of which it's supposed to be read in, it is actually really good. So I rather enjoyed this book. Um, I read it in one day. It was three hours long of an audiobook. So July 5th was the day that this was done. Um, and I, like I said, I really enjoyed this and I didn't hate it. So um, I will be continuing on with the series. And I think the best way to go about that is listening to the audiobooks. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So, all right. Next book that I read in the month of July is King of Battle and Blood by Scarlet St. Clair. This is book one in the, um, Adrian and Isolde series book two which is Queen of Myth and Monsters I think comes out at the end of the year in December so I will definitely be um waiting for that <laughs> this one is also signed by her I did take this to book bonanza she is a very lovely human um this book definitely gave me all of the feels I gave it four stars purely because like I felt it was rushed a little bit at the beginning but also in the best way. So overall, I didn't hate this book. I can't wait for the series to continue and I will be waiting for December to get here sooner rather than later. All right. So the next book I read wrecked me <laughs> emotionally, physically, however you want to go about it. It wrecked me so hard that I had to take a little bit of a breather um before I could start anything else after that and that is Zodiac Academy book five which is Cursed Fates by Carolyn Peckham and Suzanne Valenti this book okay first of all this thing is 917 pages like it took me a long time to get through so this I started on June 27th I finished it on July 14th it took me a full 14 days to read this and <laughs> it honestly should have taken that long because of I, I do listen to this on audio while listening to it on audio I do tend to pay attention and read along with the audiobook because and I'll tell you why the narrators give each character a different voice even though there's only two narrators one for the female parts one for the male parts and they make each character sound so different that it is actually really really refreshing and I actually really enjoyed it so I'm taking my time a little bit with this book because or this series at least because this is just lovely and I just love the series and I will be reading book six I believe um for the month of 
August, so probably even more emotional damage will be coming your way, or at least my way, and it's going to be a great time. So overall, I did give that book five stars. It was the probably, I think I only gave four books this month five stars, um, and that was one of them because it was so good. I just could not like put it down, even though it took me 14 days. Still really, really good. The next book I have here, um, I read it on ebook and I listened to it on audiobook and I do not have a physical copy yet. I will be getting them. It's just going to take me a minute. Um, like I said in previous videos, I have some little bit of financial obligations to deal with first before I can buy any more books. So I will be reading what I have here, which kind of scary but also like I need to I need to read what I own so um I, that book I'm talking about is Jock Rule by Sarah Nye this is book two in the Jock Row series um I actually really liked it. it this one was about the rugby player um and like I said I didn't hate it I wasn't I uh I wasn't like a big fan of it but it also didn't it wasn't very cringy or like gross in any way. So I actually really enjoyed this. I gave this book four stars and I did listen to it in one day as well, which was July 14th. Um, three hour audiobook, I believe. Three, three and a half hour audiobook. Um, and it was very lovely. I actually really enjoyed it. I will be continuing on with the series. I am supposed to be reading Jock Road, which is book three in the series this month. Um, so probably another audiobook situation, but it's going to be really fun nonetheless. All right. Next is another one of the five star books that I gave, or five stars that I gave a book this month, and it started an obsession. Um, so I started reading Him by Serena Bowen and L. Kennedy. Um, this is book one in the Him Us duet. I know there is like more to, to the series, but overall, oh my god, this book was so good. This is a male male hockey romance book, and if you have not read this then y'all need to read it it is so good this is about jamie and wes and wesme is my favorite freaking couple um they are pretty much tied with grant and declan from um from that lauren blakely series <laughs> oh my god i don't even remember but like declan and grant from the book by lauren blakely the baseball players they're one of my favorite male male couples and Westme is is right up there with them. Um, they are so good and so cute and I really really enjoyed this book. I did give it five stars. Um, it did leave on a little bit of a cliffhanger but it does pick up right off into like the second book so you're not waiting too long to find out what happens. Um, it was good. I really liked it. <laughs> um, but I did wait a little bit to start the second and third book in the series, um, which we'll get to in a minute. But next, I wanted to talk about the book that I read after him, and that is The Dark One by Nikki St. Crow. So I finished up the books that are out in this series. Like I said, um, Their Vicious Darling does come out in September, so we will definitely be reading that like either the day it comes out or like the week it comes out but it is going to be read and I'm so very excited um this one is a lot seamier than the first one just keep that in mind y'all because this is like it's a whole other level and I didn't hate it but it is very it is it's very explicit just keep that in mind and it is good and Nikki St. Crow is a freaking genius and that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> because the ending of this book like anyway let's move on um, although I will say this book did take me a little bit to get to only because I had other things that I was reading at the same time so I did start this book on July 3rd right after I finished the second one but it took me 14 days to read it and so I finished it on July 17th so it wasn't a bad book I just had a lot of things going on and I really enjoyed that so the next book that I have, um, I listened to it on audiobook and I had a uh, e-book or Kindle unlimited copy of it and that is The Sweetest Oblivion by Danielle Laurie. This is book one in the Maid Men series. Uh, this book was good. I mean it wasn't terrible and it wasn't cheesy or like overly done in a mafia sense because uh, usually like mafia books are like pretty standard when it comes to like romance and whatever um and like the degrading of women but this was actually really good and I enjoyed it I gave it four stars um 
I don't know if I'll continue on with the series right away. Um, I know that the second and third book are totally different characters from the first book, um, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, it'll take me a minute to get to these, but it's not in August's priority. But I wanted to let y'all know that I did read the book finally uh, because July, for some ungodly reason, the universe was telling me that I needed to fit. I needed to finish books that I had started but didn't finish. So overall really good book um, and this did take me a little over five days to complete from restarting it because I did start it in June um, but I had to re-listen to the first like hour hour and a half of the audiobook to figure out what was happening um, so overall not bad four star read all right and then we're getting into the nitty-gritty of things this is where like my like physical reading really took a dive um, and that next book that I ended up picking up was Wicked by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is book one in the Wicked trilogy. Um, I really enjoyed this. I ended up giving it four stars. Uh, this is about Ren and Ivy and Ivy is a fae hunter and she is in charge of making sure that there isn't a rampant number of fae in New Orleans and then Ren transfers in from Colorado into the Nor New Orleans sect of the order that they work in to kill the fae and whatever and it's a it's a good book it's a good movie as well um the movie obviously did change some things which i'm glad about because some of the scenes in that book they did not need to be in that movie and i'm actually glad that they were cut out so um overall not a bad book four stars for sure listen to it to listen to it on audio the audiobook narrator did a very good job with differentiating the character voices so um i highly recommend those as well for audio Alrighty, next book that i ended up reading i did read this one physically and it is a chunky book and that is a million kisses in your lifetime by monica murphy um i liked this book again four star read um a lot of people had some things to say about this because of how like they make ren the female character out to be some sort of like virginal sacrifice type thing like it's not like that this is actually really good once you get past like the first 100 150 pages where they're still making her seem like this innocent like girl, little little girl that wears like ribbons in her hair and blah blah it gets better this book i really enjoyed it um like i said four stars um crew lancaster let me tell ya, he is one of my favorite book boyfriends that I read this month. Um, overall, like, gives all the zaddy vibes, if you know what I mean. Like, he just knows what he wants and he goes for it, and I absolutely love that about him. Um, I do feel like Ren could have stuck up for herself more. However, the way that she did stick up for herself, I was very proud of. So, um, I highly recommend this book. If you have not read it already, please do. Crew Lancaster, chef's kiss. Alrighty, so the next book that I have here, um, after I finished Wicked, I immediately started listening to Torn by Jennifer L. Armitrout, which is book two. Um, this is just literally a continuation of where book one left off, uh, and it was okay. Four stars, again, I don't think there's anything to write home about this series. There's nothing really original about it. Um, it is kind of like a vamp, like a, I want to say like, shadow hunter thing but like it, it is it, it's essentially teenagers killing other like magical creatures and that's basically what all those books are about so um i didn't hate it it was a four star read um and i will be hopefully finishing the series this month because i do believe that the second movie torn is supposed to be coming out in october I think it's either October or November and I want to make sure that I have all of the things ready to be able to watch that movie even though I just read the second book um, and the second movie is only going to be coming out overall very good and I highly enjoyed it alrighty next I read a very hyped book um, on TikTok Instagram uh, YouTube anything you name it this book has popped up somewhere in the last you know couple of months and that is Flock by Kate Stewart. This is book one in the Ravenhood series. Um, unpopular opinion here, it was just okay for me. Like this first book, obviously a lot of people say like it, like the second and third books are way better than the first one here, but 
it was just an okay read. It wasn't anything to write home about. It took me a minute to figure out what the plot was um, because they, they don't really specify that and then the synopsis is really vague on what's happening which I think is a good thing because it like forces you to try to figure out what is going on but overall not a bad book. I do know that the second book is supposed to make me have a lot of emotions whether it's anger, hate, um, sadness, happiness, whatever. Like I, I know that it's coming. So this was like I said an okay book and I honestly did not hate it. So it, it's more like a three and a half star read if anything. Um, the smutty scenes were okay. They weren't cringy in any way. Um, and I think that the relationship between the three main characters is actually really cute compared to what some other people say about it. Um, but like I said, I didn't hate it. I actually really enjoyed it um, and can't wait to read um, Exodus because I know that's that's going to be uh, emotional damage on like a top, top level. So Anyway, the next book I ended up picking up is Us by L, uh, Serena Bowen and Al Kennedy. This is book two in the Him and Us duet. Um, five stars, chef kiss, absolutely beautiful. Um, I do have one question though, and I want to know who the F exposed them. Like that's my only question is like who exposed my babies because like that that hurt me on a, on a personal level. Like I have been in situations personally where my friends have been outed by others and like it makes me angry to hear about it and especially read about it I want to know who did it and I want I want some I want an explanation um, but this book five stars absolutely beautiful um, I think that uh, like I said Ryan and um, Jamie are just becoming my favorite people and I'm just like I'm sad that their story is like over even though I can read them in other books I want more of them because I feel like their story has so much left to to like be written you know what I mean like I wish that we got to see like a whole epilogue of like them after the events of the series you know what I mean so it's like I want to know like how how Jamie's doing in his career how uh, how Wes is doing in his career like I want to know these things and like it just kind of leaves you on this giant cliffhanger of like what happened you know um, which brings me to my next book um, I did pick up uh, epic which is the little novella that is um, after the two this is so cute and I was so happy that I finally got to see or read about Je uh, just me Wes and Jamie playing against each other. I thought that was so cool and I thought it was a great added touch into this novella. Um, I just love them to death and I'm just like really sad that, <laughs> that I have no more books to read with them in it. So those are all of the 17 books that I read this month. I am so happy with that number. If you guys have read any of these books that I mentioned in this video, please let me know what you thought about them in the comments below because I would love to know some of y'all's opinions on these books as well. I know I'm really behind and I mean really behind on my Goodreads reviews. Um, I need to, I'm probably going to go back at the end of the year and go through all of my books and write my reviews. Um, that way it's just done all at the same time and I don't really have to worry about it. So those are all 17 books. Let me see if I can grab this stack here that I have so I can get a thumbnail. Hold on. Oh dear. <laughs> this is a lot of books. <sighs> oh, okay. So that is all of the books that I ended up reading this month which like I said I'm super proud of um if like I said you read any of these let me know what you thought about them in the comments below um I do have my social media links in the description box as well there is my Instagram page and my uh, Goodreads page if you are interested and I hope to see you guys in the next video